like it's just strictly calories in versus calories out it, it's just that and when you start exercising and stuff you know you're burning more calories so you're in a deeper deficit now don't like for instance y'all see I burned 1300 calories today it doesn't mean that I have an extra 1300 calories that I can eat I tell you guys all the time you have to do it every day you have to do it every single day every day you have to grind towards what it is that you want good morning good morning you guys today is leg day as y'all see i'm back at planet fitness i wasn't sure if i wanted to be here or golds but it's quieter here so you know all right so i'm all warmed up we are going to start with walking lunges and you guys i'm so excited because nothing hurts like my knees don't hurt normally on leg day it's my knees that kind of determine how hard we go but everything feels amazing so I'm ready to have a killer leg day today. So I have two 50 pound dumbbells. It's been a while since we've done walking lunges. So I don't know what I'm able to do because it's been that long. Normally we do reverse lunges on the Smith. So let's, let's start set one with to failure. So however many I can get, and then right after I get as many as I can, we're gonna do jumping lunges with body weight. And if everything feels great, I'm hoping to go up. I remember the last time we did these, I think we got to 65 pounds. So hopefully we'll get there again today. Uh, let me set some music and get started. <clears throat> All right, and I'm just gonna walk back and forth. Hopefully, I, I wanna at least get eight on each leg. Oh yes, yeah, it's light work. <clears throat> Lightweight, y'all. All right, I don't know how many that was, y'all. All right, let's do some jumping lunges. I'm gonna get a little closer. All right, jumping lunges. All right, set one. All right, you guys, set number two here. My 50s are all the way over there. So at the end when we're done, I'll bring everything back. But um, this time we're gonna, we're gonna do 60s, uh, at least eight on each leg. Yeah, at least, but I would like to make it at least all the way where I made it, set one. <laughs> and then after, we'll go into body weight, jumping lunges. All right. All right, y'all, I'm ready. Here we go. Two more, two more, two more. Mm. Come on, come on. One more. One more, one more, one more. Yeah. Yo, 
though. That was hard. All right, jumping lunges. Quads on fire. All right, you guys. So instead of wasting energy, bringing the dumbbells all the way back, we're just gonna start down here. Um, yeah, my knees feel great, bro. <laughs> I'm so excited right now. Nothing hurts. <laughs> Nothing's aching or anything. I am beyond happy. All right, so we're gonna keep the 60s and do the same thing. These eight on each side, but ideally I should end up back where y'all are at. So uh, yeah, let's, let's thug this last set out. And you know what's crazy? It's not even the weight on my quads that's making this difficult. It's more of the pulling on my forearms and my shoulders that's making this more challenging for me than the actual lunge itself. I don't know if anyone else experiences that. All right, let's get into it. Here we go. <laughs> Grab the 55. Woo. All right. These are 50s. I just need to do a few more and then we'll be done. Okay. Here we go. Alright you guys, we are on a Smith machine here. I didn't ask, but I'm going to assume that they don't have the heel elevator ramps, which is fine. I prefer that, but you know, it is what it is. Alright, so I have two 45 pound plates on the floor and I'll use that to elevate my feet. I also had to figure out, because this Smith is slanted, so I played around with it whether to face the mirror or whether to face where we're at, where you guys are at, so I'm actually going to put my back to the mirror it feels more natural so I have a 25 on each side we'll start there and then you know go up but I, again you guys when I'm doing these squats I'm really focusing on depth I'm just trying to get better range of motion in my squat so in order to do that until we get there lighter weight because it's more about form than weight all right so let's get some music going Let's try to knock out at least eight to ten. All right, here we go.
One more. Okay. Woo. I'm gonna look at the tape and then I'll decide what I wanna do. All right, you guys, I played the tape back. Form looked great because I can't see myself in the mirror because my back is to it. Um, I would have liked my legs to be a little closer so we can hit more quad and less glute, but I don't have the ramp. And, you know, I just kind of have to make sure it feels right. Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, all right, so I added a 10 to each side, so we're at 35 pounds on each end. Let's try to get between 8 to 10 reps again. All right, here we go. Actually, let me move this a little bit. One second, y'all. Okay, maybe that'll help. All right, here we go. One more. One more, one more, one more. Okay. Jesus Christ. All right, you guys, set number three. I added a five to each side, so we're at 40 pounds. Same thing, eight to 10 reps. If it's too heavy, I'll just drop the weight. Uh, all right, here we go. Three more. Two more, two more. Come on, come on. One more. Okay. All right. We're done with squats for the day. We're done. All right, you guys. We are at a seated leg press. I want to do single leg. I like single leg better because it just allows me to make sure that both sides of my body, each leg, has to work as hard. We all have a dominant side, and if you do both legs, your dominant side will end up taking over more than your weaker side. So, you know, you, you know it is what it is, but if you wanna adjust that, you would do single leg things. So let me first adjust the seat, because y'all know I'm tall. So, I don't wanna be too far back, because I really wanna, get deep into the press. All right, let me play around with the weight a little bit and then we'll get in our first working set. Yeah, let me bring it down just a little bit so I can get deeper. Yeah. Like that, yep. Even have a lot of weight on that. Jesus Christ. All right, next leg. How much weight I got on here? I think it's only like 50 pounds. I definitely felt that. All right, here we go. Two, three. Okay. Woo. 
Okay. Honestly, I felt that more like in my glute, but that was still some good work. All right, you guys, set number two. I took the weight up uh, 25 pounds. So let's see how this feels. <laughs> All right, here we go. That was killer. Jesus Christ. Okay. Next leg. One, two, three, four, five, mm. Took it up 20 more pounds, so we're at 80. Same thing. <laughs> All right, here we go. That's it. Woo! All right, next leg. Y'all, single leg leg press, bro. My God. All right, here we go. One, two, and three. to go and find some calf stuff because I really want to do more with calves we never hit calves other than the compound movement stuff y'all see so like when we're doing squats lunges you know calves hamstrings all that comes into place but as far as like just doing a calf isolation lift we rarely ever do it so I want to start being more consistent with that. So on leg days like today where it's quad focused, we need to throw in more calves. And then on glute days, leg day, but more glute focused, we got to start doing more hamstring stuff. So but I feel like we've been doing a good job of hitting hamstrings on glute day too. But when I think about my legs all together, the muscle group that I feel like is most neglected is probably calves, then hamstrings. But as far as glutes and quads, we we always hit that. So I haven't really like toured the gym, but like off of first glance, I haven't really seen anything specifically for calves. Um, if not, we'll just do some like calf raises with some dumbbells. We can always make do, but I'm gonna scope around and see what they have that's for calves uh, and we'll get started. All right, you guys, we're gonna do calf raises. I'm gonna be standing on two 25 pound plates um, and then I grabbed 55 pound dumbbells. I don't know if y'all can see my head or my head got cut off, but either way. And we're gonna try to do like 12. Somewhere up in there, 12, 15, whatever. 
All right, let's get into set. Oh, and in between sets, so super set, I'm going to be doing wall sits. All right, let's get into it. Okay. All right, back to calf raises. All right, you guys, set number two. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Okay, woo! Jesus, calves on fire. All right, you guys, last set. Woo! Here we go. Here we go. One, two, three. One more. Okay. All right, you guys. Hold on, let me make sure. Is my mic on? Testing, testing. Okay, hello, hello. <laughs> All right, had to make sure before we start our talk and you can't hear shit. Okay, perfect, perfect. All right, so that concludes leg day. Y'all, uh, we killed it today. We killed it. My knees, they, they, they showed up and they showed out, honey. <laughs> I am so proud of my knees. Like, yay! Let's give a round of applause to the knees. <laughs> a round of applause to the knees, honey. They are the true MVPs. <laughs> Nothing hurt like the entire workout. Like, my left knee did not start to feel tight. Like, my range of motion felt great. It's crazy. <laughs> like, I don't know what, I don't know. I don't know. Because um, I told you guys before, like, some leg days. It's my knee that's like, bro, we're not doing this today. <laughs> like, it be my left knee. But today, like, everything felt amazing. It all felt great. Maybe it has something to do with that half a rest day that we did on Sunday. It might. <laughs> it might have something to do with that. I don't know. We still did cardio that day. But I'm just saying, like, maybe. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I felt great. Let's see. We burned a total of, where we at, where we at? Yo, 
yo, we killed it. We showed up. We showed up today. Uh, why is it saying? Did it not clock the workout today? I know it clocked. Oh, it's still, I never ended it, bruh. Okay. Well, okay. I think we only, we, we, we worked out for 80 minutes. I never turned it off. And all together, we burned a total of 1,300 calories. I was like, why is it not showing up? Okay. We burned 1,300 calories. Good shit. Good shit. I was sweaty the whole time. Um, yeah, I felt great. Doing the walking lunges felt great. Haven't hit those in weeks, y'all. I've been, like, sticking to reverse lunges on the Smith. Uh, yeah. And you, you guys see, listen, listen. This is what I'm talking about. We, I told you guys the past two days, I wasn't too sure if we were going to have a leg day here at Planet Fitness because they didn't have, they don't have all the fancy squat equipment at Gold. But you guys, <laughs> we showed up and we showed out. You don't need all that shit, bro. You really, you really don't. Like, it's cool. It is really cool. Like, I love, y'all know I love the hack squat. I love the hack squat machine. Um, is there another one that I use all the time? I don't really get on the pendulum squat machine i i wanted to i did it once when i was when i did the video with the trainer that was uh what two three months ago um i'm not against it it's just it was irritating my knee at the time so i never did it again but like you don't need all that like the smith machine worked out good the walking lunges was fire they had the leg press like and they did they did have the leg extension machine we didn't we didn't hit that today but they do have that they had they had the hamstring curls seated they had the laying ones they they had everything you needed to get in some good quality work and last but not least they had free weights i'm telling you guys when i was training with my personal trainer when i first started my weight loss journey all we used were free weights like he didn't even start incorporating cables until like a couple months after the fact. I think when I think when we started doing cables, it was it was virtual session at that point and I had already been working out with him for like 4 or 5 months like before we even got to the cable machine. So that's what I'm saying like we started with free weights and he will still say to this day like free weights is like all that fancy stuff that you see that's cool, you know, it's fancy, but if you really want a, a really good workout, all you need are free weights because with free weights like your whole body is working. So like doing the walking lunge with the free weights, you have to stabilize your core, you your shoulders, like everything is being worked to do one lunge with free weights. You know what I mean? When you start doing like the squatting equipment and stuff, it's doing all the stabilizing for you. So all you're working are quads or, you know, whatever it is you're trying to hit, which is fine. Like that's great. There's nothing wrong with that. But I'm just saying like, if you want to get more bang for your buck, in other words, if you want to get a full body workout, like full body, free weights. Free weights, bro. Free weights. All you need is some fucking free weights. And then if you want to spice things up a little bit, add the cables. And then if you want to spice things up a little bit more, add the weightlifting machines like the leg press, the hamstring curls, you know, all that other shit. But all you need are free weights, bro. All you need are free weights. And you guys see, I could not find a calf machine. I couldn't find one. But that's okay because I'm telling you, I was feeling the burn with the calf raises that we were doing with the dumbbells. Honestly, I felt the burn more doing the calf raises the way we were doing it with the dumbbells than I felt it using the calf raising machine at Gold's Gym. Because I'd be using that machine. But my calves were on fire today when we were doing Like, they'd be burning... With the calf raise machine, don't get me wrong, but they was really burning today. So that's what I'm telling you. Like, and I'm glad we did it because I was I was low key ready to go to goals. But then I was like, no, because I want to be able to show people like you don't have to have all that shit. Which it's great shit. Like, don't get me wrong, it's great shit. But I'm just saying you don't have to have all of that to get a good workout in. And Y'all, we burnt 1,300 calories a day. I don't even remember. The, it's been a while since we burnt that many calories on a leg day with no cardio. Like, we did cardio in the lift. But I'm just saying, like, just, you know, straight cardio session. We haven't burnt that many calories in a minute. So that's what I'm saying. Like, if I had to grade my workout leg day in comparison with the past few leg days I've had at Gold's Gym, 
this is by far the best leg day I've had in a long time. Now, granted, my knee wasn't hurting or anything like that. So, of course, that played a big role in it. But I'm just saying, like, y'all, I gave myself an A-plus today. We showed up and we showed out, okay? So, I'm glad that I stuck it through because I was this close to driving to Gold's Gym today. I was this close. I was like, no, nah, it's quieter. Don't have all the music playing. Ain't people in the way. <laughs> like, it's not nearly as many people here than at Gold's Gym. So, I'm glad we, woo, we chat. We got in some good work. I am so proud. I am so proud. And it only took 80 minutes. We were only in there for 80 minutes. That included the warm-up, bro. That included the warm-up. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Period. So, I am so proud. We showed up and we showed out today. <laughs> All right. So, leg day was great. I'm so proud. And I'm also proud of the time in which we showed up. Um, I've been trying my best to get here between 8.30 and 9.30. And yesterday I was a little late because I overslept. But today, got up early. But see, I went to bed early. So I'm just, I'm so proud of the past, like, 12 hours that I've had so far. Like, just getting in bed at, you know, a, a decent hour. Getting up and not hitting snooze on my alarm. Um, showing up and showing out. Like, this is great. And I think, I think too, just being in a new environment, Planet Fitness, you know, is this is really not a bad gym. The first day I was like, I don't know. Day number two, I was like, eh. <laughs> Today, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, it's all right. <laughs> like, it's not that bad. And it's cheaper. What? <laughs> you can't beat cheaper, bro. You cannot beat cheaper. Like, you really can't. And I just love how. My biggest thing is it's not crowded. Gold's Gym be a little crowded. That's why I like to go. There's a certain time in which I like to go to Gold's Gym because I know like most of the time it's not crowded. But I like how I can get here at the hours in which I want to and it's not crowded. So, so far like Gold's Gym is, it's, 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 um, what's the word? It's, it's, uh, what's the word where you're like, what's the phrase? It's. I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to it. At the first day, I was like, I don't know about this. <laughs> but we're on day three here. And, you know, it's 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 starting to rub off on me, I guess. I guess that's the phrase. But, yeah, so so proud of that. Okay, so, you guys, I want to talk to y'all a little bit. Yesterday, when it came to food, I probably didn't do the best. I told you guys I had the milkshake. The Mexican food, it wasn't like it was bad. It's just I know that when they're cooking food, you know, when you go out to restaurants and stuff, they're using a lot of oil. So even though I just eat vegetables, <laughs> that I know they're pouring like a shit ton of grease on it for the grill. So today, I'm just going to work on not going out, eating, you know, what I cook. Because we made a big ass pot of curry lentil stew with sweet potatoes on Monday. So I have no excuse <laughs> to be going out. Like I have plenty of food at home. And it's already cooked. All I have to do is microwave it. I can't even use the excuse of, oh, I have to cook it. I have to go get the groceries. It's already cooked. So I have no reason to go out today. I'm going to stick to my food goal for the day. Um, I did eat my non-dairy yogurt this morning. I have my overnight oats here waiting for me to eat when we finish this video. And then later I do want to do a protein smoothie and we're also going to eat the curry lentil stew. So that's the goal. It's the only things I want to put down my throat. Pause. Um, <laughs> it's the only thing I want to eat today. I really need to get... I need to lock in on the food. Now, I did I did meet the intermittent fasting window yesterday. I should have told you guys that. So I did fast for 16 hours. So that was great. I'm proud of myself for that. Now I just got to work on sticking to my calorie goal. And again, just trying to stay in that fasting window because the fasting is great. Like it really is great. I, 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 it's hard to get used to even, that's why I told you guys, like start with 12 hours. Like if you want to do it, like start with 10 hours or 12 hours, get used to that for a few weeks. And then if you feel like upping it up it, if you don't, you don't have to. And I told you guys before, like when I lost all of my initial weight, you know, over the course of two years, like I wasn't intermittent fasting. Like I just... I mean, technically I was, but it wasn't like intentional. I was just solely focused on trying to eat a certain amount of calories for the day. But 
you know, when you don't eat past eight or past nine and then you don't eat again till breakfast, you are in a fast. So technically I was fasting the whole time, but it wasn't like my focus. So don't feel like, you know, you have to do a 16 hour window of no food in order to lose weight because that's not true. Like you will lose weight whether you do a 10 hour window, 12 hour window, eight hour window. It's really more so just about calories in versus calories out. It doesn't get any more simpler than that, like, scientifically. Like, I know it's hard to do, right? But, like, just just theoretically, like, it's just strictly calories in versus calories out. It, it's just that. And when you start exercising and stuff, you know, you're burning more calories, so you're in a deeper deficit. Now, don't, like, for instance, y'all see I burned 1,300 calories today. It doesn't mean that I have an extra 1,300 calories that I can eat. Technically, I do, but... I'm still going to stay within my 16 to 1800 calories for the day. You know what I mean? So I can be in a deeper caloric deficit. That's, that's the goal. So when you, when you, and then on top of that, you guys, you don't really know how accurate these watches are. They claim to be accurate. They may be very accurate. I don't know. But at the end of the day, you don't really know. Like you don't really fucking know. It might be under accurate. It might be over accurate. I have no clue. This just lets me know like, I use this as a gauge, like, did I really put in a lot of work today? So, you know, if, if the metrics stay the same, I know that if I only burn 600 calories, it was like a, it's, that was a decent workout. If, it's, if I burn 1,300 calories like today, I showed up and showed out, right? So that's, I just gauge it like that. that like, when, I, when I'm trying to figure out, like, am I done working out for the day? Like, is this the last set? I'll look at my calories burn. I'll be like, yeah okay, 800 calories, not bad. Or if it's only like 600, I'm like, okay, this is just like a lighter day. You know, I look at it like that based just more or less how hard did I work? How much did I sweat? (laughs) That's how, that's how I determine like, you know, but I don't look at it like, okay, I burned 700 calories at the gym. So that means I can eat a milkshake. (laughs) I don't look at it like that. And you shouldn't either. So keep that in mind. Stay in your calorie deficit. Now, how do you find your calorie deficit? Um, You can go online and, you know, find one. When I was at my heaviest, 340 pounds, my trainer had me eating, I think we were at like 1,400 calories a day. And you guys, I wasn't eating a shit ton of protein. Uh, I I think I was eating like... 50 grams to 75 grams somewhere in there that's when I was still a meat eater which you know that makes sense because you gotta think like all right breakfast I might have had some egg yolks all right so that's about 20 grams of protein then lunch I probably had whatever whatever with some chicken right so that's about 20 grams of protein and then I really was he didn't really want me to snacking too much so you know I wasn't eating anything like chips or anything like that so then you know when you go to dinner you might do fish or chicken whatever that's about another 20 grams of protein so you know that's 60 grams of protein that's three meals that's more than enough (laughs) like that's more than enough especially when you're trying to lose fat I think the issue that people run into when I can speak for women I don't know about men I'm not a man you know I can only go off of what worked for me and what my trainer taught me but when you eat too much protein, you guys, you can actually gain weight. So, which makes sense for those who are already cut up and are telling you to eat a gram of protein a day. I mean, a gram of protein per body fat or body or body weight that you are, pound per pound that you are. Because that's what they're doing, but they're already cut up. That's, 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 what's, that's what's different. And that's where people get confused. You should be on a high protein diet. Yes, but if you're 300 pounds, you guys, you don't need 300 grams of protein. You're not going to lose any weight. That's 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 the problem. That's the problem. And I was still weightlifting. I've been weightlifting my whole weight loss journey. I was never on a cardio you know. Let me tell you guys what I was doing. My trainer would show up. My my session was like at 9:30 a.m. So I would get to the gym in my apartment complex at 9. I would do 20 minutes on the elliptical at a, like a hit. So like I do like 
30 seconds as fast or as hard as I could go. Then I would drop it down to like two minutes of just like a steady pace. Then I would up it back to like 30 seconds all out. And I would do that. So for like about 20 minutes, 15 minutes, I would give myself like five minutes to warm up on it. So about 15 minutes doing it like that. Then I would get off. I would do some stretching for about 10 minutes. And then he would show up and we would do about 45 minutes of weightlifting. And, you know, I wasn't very strong then. So I was doing like seated shoulder press. I probably was using like 15 pound dumbbells. He might have me doing some body weight lunges. Well, actually, when I first started, I don't even think I could do a lunge. So he had me doing like body weight squats. Uh, When we were doing push ups, I was using the Smith machine and had it pretty high up because I couldn't get as low on a push up because I wasn't strong. Like I was just starting my journey, right? I was pretty heavy. So, you know, he had me doing basically incline push ups. Uh, we were doing bench press, dumbbell bench press, but with lighter weights. So everything that y'all see me doing today, but just a lot lighter reps or a lot lighter weight, like a lot. <laughs> um, but over the course of time, I was even though I was only eating about 60 grams of protein, you guys, I was losing weight. The, the scale was going down. And I was still getting stronger. Those are newbie gains. See, when you're when you're fresh into the weight room, you're gonna get stronger. Like if you don't if you don't work out, if you're coming from a couch potato state, like you're gonna get stronger. Your body is really good at adapting. So like for your first two years, you can be in a caloric deficit, eat, you know, Fifty to eighty grams of protein a day, which is more than enough if you're a woman who's extremely overweight, like how I was, and lose weight. Like the scale will go down. So you know, now if you are not as big as I was, it might be a little different for you. Or if you're trying to get bigger, then yes, you would be eating a lot of food in order to get bigger. But for someone who is was in the situation, who's in the situation that I was in. 340 pounds, over 100 plus pounds overweight, uh, hadn't worked out in a long time, then the information that I'm giving you that worked for me will work for you, okay? Um, and you're going to get stronger. I, I got stronger every, every month. It wasn't until a year and a half where I started to plateau. So you're going to get stronger. So, you know, don't some of the information that you see online, you got to you got to see where it's coming from. If it's coming from someone who's jacked up, cut up, they're on a different path. They're on a different journey than the journey you're on if you're trying to lose body fat. OK, so just keep that in mind. You don't need all that protein. And if you're not losing weight, that's why you're eating way too much protein, way too much protein, way too much protein. Um if anything, I would prioritize whole foods, not the grocery store, but unprocessed foods. Because even though I'm in a cut now, and so I'm losing weight because we bulked over the winter, you guys, I'm still maintaining all of my muscle that I built. And I'm not, I'm only eating half of the amount of protein I was eating when I was on a bulk. Like right now, I'm trying to get between 60 to 75 grams of protein a day. And y'all see how strong I am. Y'all see this. So that, that's what I'm saying. That is the proof that you need. Like, I think sometimes, pro, not sometimes, I feel like in the fitness community, protein is over, it's like people focus on that way more than, honestly, I'm not saying protein doesn't play a factor, but honestly, I feel like if I had to choose between, and again, I'm only speaking on my journey and what's been working for me if I had to choose between protein and whole foods like more unprocessed foods I feel like more unprocessed foods is way more important than how many grams of protein you get because if you're eating unprocessed foods you guys you're still going to get protein like there's so much protein in plants and people underestimate that like there's a lot of protein in spinach lentils beans y'all I'm vegan so how am I strong as fuck as a vegan You know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm trying to get you guys to understand. So don't obsess over protein like that, especially if you're trying to lose weight. I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. My pre-workout is running through me. I'll be right back, y'all. 
Sorry, y'all. Woo wee! I'm telling you that that pre workout. I'm gonna be running to the bathroom for like the next hour every 20 minutes. This happens every single day. But anyways, um, prioritizing whole foods and then consistency. Like I was always, I was very consistent. Uh, me and my trainer was working out four days a week, and then when I started doing virtual sessions with him, it was four days a week. But I would still do my own thing on that fifth day. I would do two rest days, and then when I started, you know, doing my own thing without him, it's been like every day. So the point I'm making is eating whole foods, unprocessed foods, and then being consistent with your weightlifting. That's all you need. And then the thing is, tea guys. I just started getting on protein powder and stuff. When I first started my weight loss journey, when I was at my heaviest for the first year, he did not have me on a protein powder. So that's what I'm saying. Like, just just focus on eating unprocessed foods. Focus on being consistent with eating clean and working out, and you're gonna you're gonna lose weight. Like the scale will go down. It will go down. Okay. Don't obsess over the scale. I'm not telling you to weigh yourself every day, but the scale should be going down if you stay in that caloric deficit, okay? So keep all that in mind. Um, but again, I can only tell you guys what has worked for me and share my story and my journey with you guys. So if you are a woman who is trying to lose a lot of weight like how I needed to, I feel like the, the advice that I'm giving you that I did will work for you like it worked for me. Unless you have some type of medical issue right like I feel it but if you're like a healthy individual for the most part you know you don't have any hormonal imbalances or anything like that then you know it should it should work for you and I did I had high blood pressure I had high cholesterol I was pre-diabetic um so I wasn't I wasn't very healthy okay I wasn't very healthy but the this this information I'm giving you should work for you as well so I hope that helps. All right, y'all. It is time to go. All right. I am going to head home. I'll see y'all a little later. All right, you guys. So, okay. A couple of things. I keep forgetting that I haven't closed out my YouTube video. Sorry, this tag is itching me. Um, I keep forgetting because y'all know after we do our car talk outside of the gym, like, the video's over, right? I keep forgetting that I'm leaving it open so that I can like talk to y'all some more, talk about my day, what I ate and all those things. So here it is. Uh, what time is it now? It's 737. So I still have to eat dinner. So I'm going to eat dinner once we finish this. I won't be in my 16 hour window today. So, you know, but okay. So I finished, I forgot. I, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, I gotta get better at this. It's, it's coming along. I'm trying you guys. I'm really trying. Cause I'd be locked. Once I get home, I'm like locked into my schedule of editing content and uploading stuff that I'd be forgetting, which is an excuse. <laughs> I will do better. I'm going to work on doing better. So, okay. I forgot that I went out yesterday. So I ended up eating my leftovers, which was some Spanish rice with some veggies and some, uh, some guacamole, house-made guacamole. So I ate that and then I wasn't hungry anymore but I'm hungry now. So I'm going to eat after we finish talking. And so for my dinner, it's going to be the curry lentil stew with the sweet potatoes and the quinoa. So when I kind of did like a rough estimate of the macros for that, it's about 20 grams of protein. That's because I put a shit ton of lentils in there, like a shit ton of lentils, <laughs> like a crazy absurd amount of lentils went into that stew. But that's okay. Cause lentils taste really good anyways. So, and just so y'all know, I'm going to be doing a try on haul for this outfit. I, I was trying on stuff, so I got some new stuff from um, from Sheen. So I was trying stuff on just to see. I got a little excited, so I'm going to be making a try-on haul probably tomorrow. Let me know what you guys think about the try-on hauls. Like, do y'all want me to keep doing them or no? I'm just in this new body era. Like, it feels so good to be smaller and really liking how I look in clothes and stuff. Like, but I liked how I looked and stuff before. Don't get me wrong, but I just really like feeling myself. So like ordering new clothes and stuff, like I'm like, okay, Jazz, check you out, check you out. Like it feels great. So let me know what y'all think about the try on hauls. Y'all want me to keep doing them or, cause I'm gonna keep doing them regardless, but I'm trying to figure out. So that's what I'm saying. My mind has like so many 
ideas. <laughs> like just so many ideas. So basically what I was thinking about doing is keeping this channel fitness, weight loss, you know, motivation, you know, life hacks, <laughs> things like that, spiritual journey type stuff. And let me know what y'all think. Should I continue to make the try on haul videos and put them on this channel or, or <laughs> this is where my mind started thinking, should I create a new YouTube channel and that YouTube channel will be try on hauls and, uh, reviews and unboxing videos and things like that. So let me know what y'all think. And that would include stuff that's also related to weight loss and fitness too. Like, because you guys, I have two brands that reached out to me and sent me products. So I'm super excited about that. So the videos will go on here cause that's what they want it for. But I'll also make like a separate video for that next YouTube channel, which would be reviews, unboxings, and it's not even just related to weight loss and fitness. Like it could be for anything. Like I order Amazon, like there's no tomorrow. Like it could be like unboxing my Amazon packages, checking out what I got. I'm investing into my channel and stuff. I got new mics for my Twitch. So it would be like just a, an array of things, whatever I order, <laughs> like whatever I order, no matter what category it falls into, whether it's electronics or uh, weight loss or fitness or clothes or just literally anything, uh, body products like lotions and, you know, facial creams, whatever it is. <laughs> so basically like, uh, mini reviews. <laughs> so I'm just so excited about all these really great ideas I have, which is why sometimes I find myself struggling to sleep at night because my mind just has all of these really good ideas and I just start getting so excited <laughs> and then it's like I don't know how to like turn it off like I don't know how to bring myself back down I just get so excited so let me know what y'all think y'all thoughts and opinions um so yeah that's that's something I was thinking about doing I was I was on Twitch well I'm still on Twitch <laughs> we were playing Mortal Kombat so you know I just that's why I talk to you guys so much about just keeping your energy high and trying to avoid toxic people at all costs. Sometimes you can't always avoid them, like if they're family members, but if you can, like if it's just, you know, someone that you're dealing with, a friend or, you know, and sometimes if it's your coworkers or your work environment, like you can't really avoid that unless you quit. But, you know, what you can avoid, like just try to avoid because when, when you're not like stressed, <laughs> when you're not, worried about, you know, how someone's treating you or an uh, argument that you had with someone, when your mind is just clear, you can really start to just think of just amazing ideas. You feel more motivated. You feel inspired. Most days I wake up feeling super inspired, super motivated, but that's because I've become really picky about who I give my energy to. And I want that for you as well. And yeah, it's, it's hard to let go of people. You know, I made a whole video on dealing with hurt and how I deal with losing friends. And, you know, I made a whole video on that a few days ago. So definitely check that out. But, you know, that was just me being vulnerable and just telling you guys, like, what I've gone through. But on the other side of that, which is where I am today, like, I'm glad all of that happened because I come up with so many great ideas and I get so excited about my ideas. I used to be excited about an idea and I would tell somebody about it and then they would like shoot it down and I'd be like, oh yeah, that was stupid. And then my idea would just go to shit. It's like, I wouldn't even think about the idea anymore. So, you know, I, I and that's the thing too. I think sometimes people think that, cause I've been open about the fact I don't have friends. <laughs> like I don't have friends and well, it depends on what you guys consider friends. I have acquaintances. Let's, let's, I have acquaintances. Like if I wanted to go out to happy hour, I could do that. You know, if I wanted to, I don't know, go on a girl's trip, there are people I could text and try to plan that out. But you, you and I both know how that goes. You start out with a large group of women and the next thing you know, ain't nobody going. <laughs> you, you get my drift. But when I say friends, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking like someone that I tell like deep problems to, like someone that I feel like I could really vent to and get just genuine advice, not, not uh, not negative advice, like just genuine advice, like someone who I know for a fact, like 
just genuinely wants the best for me. That's what I mean by friends and that I don't have that. But that's okay. Like, I'm not lonely. I'm very fulfilled. So, you know, and I can come up with great ideas and I look forward to this. Like, I love my day. <laughs> like, my day is so much fun. And I was watching an interview with Drake a while ago. It was probably like a year or two ago. I didn't fully, I couldn't fully understand what he was saying. Like, I, I could understand what he was saying, but I didn't, it didn't click. It didn't register with me at the time, but it definitely registers with me today. And he was saying, um, you know, when he, when he comes across friends or people, they have to be a really special person for him to switch up his routine to accommodate that person because he just really loves what he does every single day. Like he loves his day. He loves his schedule. He loves his routine. And I resonate with that. Like I really do love my routine. I really do love my schedule and I really like to stay on schedule. <laughs> like I, I, it irritates me when I don't, but I, I love my schedule and I love my day. So, you know, to start incorporating other people into that, you have to be someone that I, I truly trust that I, you know, because I love what I do. Like I love making content. So, you know, I want that for you as well, especially if you are an entrepreneur or you're looking to be one, you know, you want to be one, like getting a grasp on your mental health, regardless of what it is. Mental health is the new wealth for whatever it is that you do, whether you are a career woman, a career man, whether you are going back to school, whether you're a stay at home mom, like at the end of the day, like mental health is a new wealth regardless. But I will say that for those of you guys who are looking into starting a business, I know ever since COVID is so many people like just thinking outside of the box and trying to go into business for themselves and, you know, do things that they really enjoy, especially because of social media, like anyone can be a content creator. So I love hearing when people, you know, say they want to start making content and stuff like that. It just really excites me. Like I get so excited for people when they say that. Um, but you really, really have to have a grasp on your mental health because the thing is like your income depends on you. It's not like a job where you can go in and, you know, just kind of bullshit. Cause I've had plenty of jobs like that where I just bullshit my way through the day. <laughs> I'm not even going to hold you. Like I was, I was never, I, so there were plenty of jobs I had where I was probably the weakest link. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I'm not even gonna lie to you. But what I can say is when you run your own, it's like, you have to keep your energy high. You have to keep yourself you know, clear of negativity because everything depends on you. Like all the choices and decisions that you make, everything depends on you. And, you know, to some that may sound scary, that may sound overwhelming, like, whoa, <laughs> but I'm telling you like the truth, you know, so you have to keep your energy high. You have to constantly be fueling yourself so that you can think of great ideas and new things to do to incorporate into your business, you know, it, everything really depends on you. And I love it. I love being an entrepreneur. And it's crazy because tomorrow, no, not tomorrow, because tomorrow's the fourth. Y'all will see this on the fifth. The day that y'all see this video, I will be four years into entrepreneurship. So I'm super excited about that. And it's crazy because I never thought I would be here. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited about it. Like, I'm just so excited about it. Four years of not having a clock in clock out job four years of being my own boss four years of paying my bills through the money that i make for myself like that's that's fucking crazy <laughs> that's fucking crazy so I'm, I'm i'm super excited about that i'll probably do like a little a slight little photo shoot with me myself and i um i see you might get in like a one of those balloons from like the dollar store or whatever, like with the numbers. So I'll probably get like a four and, you know, take a couple pictures outside, you know, something real small scale, but it's exciting for me. It's, it's really exciting for me. So, you know, I might, I might, <laughs> I might go to Whole Foods and get me a vegan cupcake. I don't know. Just, just something to kind of celebrate myself. Cause I'm just so excited about that. Uh, especially because, you know, times are really hard right now. Like the economy is just fucking crazy. Like every time you go to the grocery store, it's a hundred dollars like standard for like three things. So, you know, I, I think we're all feeling 
just the effects of the economy and stuff. So to still be thriving, uh, to still be able to feed myself, to still be able to keep a roof over my head during these times is definitely something for me. I'm very proud of myself for that. And I'm not saying that I don't feel the effects. <laughs> I definitely feel the effects. Y'all. I feel the effects. I am not rich. <laughs> okay. But despite that, to still be able to keep my energy high, to still wake up feeling super motivated and not be stressed out about things. I'm just really proud of myself for that. So if you are looking to make your way into running a business, uh, the biggest of it, the biggest advice I could give you is you have to really block in on your mental health. That's for anything, but I'm just for, for one second, just speaking to people who want to start businesses, you really have to lock in on your mental health uh, because it is a roller coaster. <laughs> like weight loss is a roller coaster as well. I said that multiple times, but being an entrepreneur is definitely a roller coaster too, because it's like, Oh my God, <laughs> I only made $50 today. What am I going to do? <laughs> you still have to, you still have to like breathe and woo saw and strategize and figure out, you know, what you can do better for tomorrow. And it's, people don't always show, <laughs> people don't always show, um, it's not a con. It's, people just don't always show everything that comes along with entrepreneurship. I think people, a lot of times people only want to show the, the glamour side. So the, the fancy uh, trips, the vacations, the lavish designer bags and shoes and, you know, being able to get your hair done, nails, like, you know, all that stuff, uh, the luxury condos, people, I don't think social media shows you the other side, <laughs> which is like the long nights, the being stressed out, the crying, the trying to figure out, <laughs> is this really worth it, right? When you're in hustle mode, like, and you're trying to figure out, like, okay, do I pay my rent on time or do I pay my car note? Like, you know, I've been there. So it's, it's a lot. <laughs> I wouldn't trade it for the world, but it is a lot. I know we're going off topic because this has absolutely nothing to do with weight loss, but I do want to just start incorporating, like just really letting y'all into my world. You know, I, I love the gym. <laughs> I love the gym, but I do do more than just the gym. So, you know, you guys, I've read comments where you guys are, y'all wanted me to open up more. And, you know, I'm, I'm baby stepping my way. I'm, I'm making my way. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting there. But, yeah, you guys, I love being an entrepreneur. So I'm, I'm really proud of myself. And one thing that I do do every day is just, just say thank you for everything that I've been blessed with. And that doesn't mean material things. You know, saying thank you for my mindset, like just the fact that, you know, when times do get hard, I'm still able to have a smile on my face. I'm still able to be motivated. I've gotten to a point where I've really adopted a fuck it mindset. <laughs> like, I really have. Like, if some don't get paid, just don't get paid. I, I'm not in a space anymore where I stress over things. I've, I've learned that it always works out. It always, 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 always works out. And I want you to know that for yourself as well. It always works out. So, <laughs> um, you know, it is what it is. And I, I do want to start sharing more of my stuff with you guys. Like what I do, it's not just, I, I know I do OnlyFans. I've told you guys I do OnlyFans. Um, I still do OnlyFans. OnlyFans does pay my bills. <laughs> I am, I'm 1000% honest with you guys. OnlyFans is my bread and butter, but it's more than just, taking sexy pictures <laughs> like there's a whole business side to it and I spend a great amount of my day on the business end of it it's not just making videos and you know taking pictures there's a whole marketing side to it as well and luckily I've been able to because that's not what I want to do forever you know I've been blessed with it it helps me get out of my toxic job that I hated that I had me drinking all the time and hating life. So, you know, I, I'm, I will always be thankful for that platform, but I do think it's time for me to spread my wings. <laughs> I don't want to be doing it forever. I'm not miserable in it, but I'm just saying I, I I'm ready to expand and open up a new chapter, but I'm, I'm fortunate for the fact that I've been able to still market for my only fans through 
my fitness content and doing what I really want to do. I get a lot of fans from YouTube and Twitch and Instagram and TikTok. What else is there? I think that's pretty much it. So I get a lot of fans to my OnlyFans through these platforms, which is great because it allows me to make the content that I really want to make, which is weight loss content, which is content about mental health and finding yourself. I actually had, I'm assuming, a gentleman on Twitch. He came from YouTube, and he was telling me that he watched, uh, which video? I think it was the video where I was talking about letting people go. Not the one I just made, but I, I'm pretty sure it was a previous one from a few weeks ago. And he was telling me how he was able to resonate with what I said and, you know, he was going through his own situation. And uh, he really appreciated that video. So, you know, that, that really makes me feel good, whether it's a man or a woman. Like, I don't care. <laughs> like, I want to help anyone, right? I don't care what gender you are. So that, that makes me feel good that I can, you know, make the content that I want to create. And, you know, people who want to see me on a different side can, can kindly subscribe to the OnlyFans and do what they do. But I'm still able to make the content that I want to make, which is this. So I'm, I'm really blessed. I'm truly blessed. I'm truly excited. But yeah, I know that's completely off topic, but I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys. I, so tomorrow is 4th of July. But again, y'all won't see this video until the 5th. So I will work really hard to remember to keep y'all with me with everything that I eat. <laughs> I'm not used to it, but you know, it, I'm, I'm going to get used to it because this is how we're going to do stuff. And yeah, just kind of, y'all just going to kind of hang out with me throughout the whole day. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you guys think about. So I have, this is my, this, I have, this is my main YouTube channel. But I have another YouTube channel, which is uh, my Twitch streams. I can export them. And that one's going really well, too. I was actually shocked. I'm excited about it. That one's doing really well. It's a baby. It's a baby channel. It's a baby Twitch. Excuse me. Not a baby Twitch. A baby channel. But it's it's making its way. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. So let me know what you guys think about mini packages. <laughs> well, it doesn't really matter what you think because I'm going to do it anyways. But I still would love feedback. <laughs> I would still love feedback. So once I create, that'll be my, this will be my third YouTube channel, this one coming up. But I'm excited about it. I just have to figure out like anything that you want to do, you guys, I tell you guys all the time, you have to do it every day. You have to do it every single day. Every day you have to grind towards what it is that you want. And so I don't always have a package that comes every day. <laughs> so I would have to figure out like, what would I be filling in with it? Because especially when you're trying to grow a platform, this is for anyone who wants to be a content creator. One thing I can say is you have to post all the time. I, I, I noticed that some, it's crazy because some people who are really, really big on social, they still post multiple times a day. And then you have other creators who are really, really big on social and they only post once a day. So you have to find, and there's other creators who are really big on social and post once a week. So you have to find your own space and what feels good for you. But what I will say is when you are first starting something, a platform, you're not in the algorithm. So what I've noticed with any platform is you have to post multiple times a day you, just to get in there. And then once you're in there, you can kind of decide what you want to do. So when I do make the next channel, I would have to figure out like what kind of content am I going to be posting multiple times a day? Cause I don't have packages that come multiple times a day. <laughs> so I would have to figure that part out, but I'm really excited about it. But anyways, you guys, I'm starving. I'm about to go heat up my food. This wraps up today's video. If you guys want to see what we did yesterday for back biceps and abs, Make sure you guys click right here. Leg day was killer. You guys, I've been getting cramps in my quads all day. <laughs> all day, like right by my knees. Like, oh my gosh. If you, <laughs> it's, 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 it's rough. But anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow, bright and early for chest, shoulders, and triceps. Bye, you guys.